no nation, the judiciary system I try them best to sing Vibes Cartel because you know all would know by now that Isaac Buchanan has been suspended. So I say so he won't be able to make it to the Privy Council in London next year to represent Vibes Cartel. But people, you know, don't fret. You know, don't fret. This is just a distraction for kind of mislead the people because they try them best to sing Vibes Cartel. You know? We are going to explain why. Now I see a screenshot of Vibes Cartel Facebook page. And you don't know this article was out from the Jamaica Star. But he posted it on his Facebook page and basically he said, People no pay them bossy slave broker massa clone and a mine. This can't stop shit. Sixteen King Council upon the case. Ah, uh, this is just a distraction. I soon delete the post too. Just to give you a quick update. Suck your mother bossy slave. Free 24. So basically the man has said this is just a distraction, bro. This is just something to really throw the fans off to kind of get them worried because it's drawing real close because you don't know as you blink your eye you see me as a January finish and then as you blink it's February so it's pretty soon it's pretty near it's drawing near you see me as a people and they might try them best they might try farm up some more of things for sing vibes cartel because look at it right at this point in time when I got to suspend the man right as it a draw near but to no avail, 16 King Council is going to be representing Vibes Cartel same way. So yes, he said the man legal, that's why it is called a team. Because his legal team is very, very, very large. So may I say 16? So 16 plus 1, 17. So it would be 17 attorneys representing Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? So one out, we have 16 same way. So it's still going to go through the same way. So no matter what them try bro cause I, you know who them people eh, where they classify as Bakramasa them people they know like some high society people them are bossy slave they are still beneath slave masters ruling same way but them are going like say them are leaders and them are you know top echelon when they are really nobody you see what I say they are really nobody and I really would have want to ask most of these high society people what vibes cartel do no bro cause some of them don't even know vibes cartel you know some of don't even know Vibes Cartel in person if you even talk to him. Some of don't even listen to Vibes Cartel because some of don't even know listen to, 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 to dance hall. But because people who no surround themselves with people who speak badly about Vibes Cartel, who talk against Vibes Cartel, who just innately just forward and just become a hater too. Because the majority of them don't know the G, they don't even know his songs. But because their friends are, they have friends of other friends who talk badly about Vibes Cartel. Them jump on the wagon and say, oh, we hate him and this and that. And so most of the times you develop um, haters, you know. So most of the time people just come along and hear people are talk bad about you and just join the party too. You know what I mean? They don't even have a clue who you is. They don't try to get to know you. Although Cartel no one one of them. Because his music speaks for itself. So from your hearing music, automatically you know who he is and know what he's all about. So if you don't know his music or you don't listen to his music, you don't know him. You don't know can understand who is Adisha Palmer. But because them are friends or other families, or friends of friends, as I say, we talk badly about the G, them forward upon the, 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 the posse and just start to disrespect the man. You know what I mean? But as Vibes Cartel said, it is just a distraction. So people not get worried, no make that shake on the feathers that won't stop Vibes Cartel freedom. You understand? It won't stop it. You see what I say? And I don't even want to touch on that topic with what Isaac Buchanan got suspended about because I did a video about it. I do a video about it, so I'm going to make sure, you see what I say, put that video in the link or something for you to get to see it. We have a link in the cards where you can basically see it come up and you can just click on it and basically go watch what I say. You see what I say? Because what Isaac Buchanan did was just rephrasing or recording what Vibes Cartel said, a lyric from one of Vibes Cartel's songs of the album Born for This. You know what I mean? And this song was released, this um, actual album was released in 2021. And now it's 2023. So why as and I remember say as since year 2023 Isaac Buchanan made the statement. So why all of a sudden to Isaac Buchanan made that statement? You go forward out and say you feel offended because he's a liar. Oh. 
So because he's a lawyer and you want him is in the same field now, you find it very rude of him to say that about you. But to be honest, this lady, her ulterior motive, you know, is to just put away ghetto youth. You understand? This woman's main job or her main thing is to put away ghetto youths. You see me I say? She don't believe in ghetto youths. She talk badly about ghetto youths. Sometimes I have to wonder if the DPP even have a son or she have a nephew. You see me I say? Because she seems as if she hates men. You see me I say? And if anybody could recall on that specific day when Vibes Cartel received the guilty verdict and she was basically leaving the court she was smiling because everybody knows uh, the dpp she have a gap space she was basically smiling and i was really really upset because me i said how oh, can you be smiling at someone's demise you know have a son you know have a nephew you know what i mean it seems as if they have no heart and to be honest i just some feel i some pray as if say them people are just not have no heart towards get a youth you know what I mean? And you can't judge people because of where they're from or what they represent. You see what I mean? I say because a lot of criminals are actually high society people. Them commit a whole heap of crime. You call them crime the white collar crime. But because they are high society and they have big friends in big places. You know what I mean? Them feel as if say, they can do as they feel. But when a ghetto youth speak out, they try to clamp him down and they try to lock him away. Look what them do cartel a few months ago. Solitary confinement. They're basically trying to kill the man. They're trying to kill him. They're trying to silence Vibes Cartel. And from the day Vibes Cartel get that guilty verdict, they may say, yo, you know, say that them brother you try to do. They might try to silence the man, you know. They might try to silence the man, but guess what? Them can't do it. Them can't do it because his voice is still out there. His voice lives on with the massive. Or the masses, I should say. Even though I try on best to keep him away from us, I try to shut him up, I try to silence him, he's going to speak the truth and that's why I hate him. Basically. So even though his presence is not here with us, his voice, his lyrics lives with us, lives on with us. We move around with his lyrics on a daily basis because Vibes Cardinal is a youth with sing about life itself. You know what I mean? I have to really appreciate the fact that I have a youth who speak about life. And represent ghetto people because ghetto people don't really have nobody to defend them, you know, really and truly. And the artists them defend ghetto people, and the artists them speak out for ghetto people. When the road them want fix, when them want water, when them want light, and them go to boom and come on TV and talk about it. The politicians them ignore it, but when the entertainers them sing about it, these same politicians hear it back. And some of the time these politicians take offense because they matter about, oh, who is him singing about certain things? Who not for doing a job? But you so caught up with Vibes Cartel, majority of them have to wonder, are seemingly, never wonder, seemingly they are obsessed with Vibes Cartel. Most of these politicians and high society people, they are obsessed with Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? Because we see when they have confidence and people not have, they, they lack confidence, people we hate you, you know, brother. When you walk in a one room and you are confident, you know, you see everybody we already in there. When them see when you walk in and to all you confident, instantly them just start to develop a hatred towards you, you know, because they must say, how do you? So he feel, feel like he's somebody or she feel like she's better than everybody. That's just people. You know what I mean? But as me I go say again, no matter where they come with, not going to work. Just not going to work. You have to just accept the facts. The Vibes Cartel is going to be a free man next year. And I hope that the DPP looks into herself and know that what she was doing or what she said was wrong. And she wrongfully judged an innocent man. You know what I mean? And what she did was very, very unforgiving because you can't laugh at someone, you can't laugh at someone's demise. But to each his own. So, big up vibes cartel for say what I'm saying, another song there, because seemingly, seemingly, him step on her can. But big up vibes cartel for that, Zin. And with that being said, this is where I'm going to end the update. Hope you guys enjoyed it to the fullest. If you have anything to say, guys, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Like up the video, share up the videos. Watch the playlist, watch the ads guys, watch the ads, watch the ads, you see what I say? And if you're a new viewer, you're most welcome to be to subscribe to the channel, you see what I say? And if you're an old subscriber, much love and appreciation, you see what I say? Big up on yourself, so until the next time on the next topic, I'm out.